Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision and welcome to a new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo. I think this is going to be going to be the last episode. I mean, I'm thinking in seasons, like the last episode of this first season because I'm thinking to do another one. What do you guys think? Uh, write it down in the comments and uh, yeah, let's talk about this stuff. Uh, so I tested out like the perspective grid tool, this thing right here is the yeah, perspective grid tool so it doesn't do a lot of stuff but if you make it right you can pull off some great concepts okay okay so i'm gonna show you how this is done i'm gonna create a new artboard and uh go and select this thing okay so we selected the grid and as you can see this is a two-dimensional three-dimensional cube you can see only two dimensions this is the third one uh, as you can see, it's gonna create this little cube in here. So right now we're on the left top and there you can see all the, also the bottom. So yeah, it's a kind of weird. But anyways, let's just, uh, let me try to touch this cube. I'm gonna... Okay, so when you click on this, on the perspective grid tool, it's gonna show you a lot of dots, a lot of uh, weird stuff going on. What I did in my personal um, project, I just pull this down to be like uh, right to the horizontal settings and I pull this up something like this to be like a wing like an edgy wing so it won't even be that uh, you know uh, in perspective but it's going to distort it like really cool and uh, I loved it. You also can put like a lot of stuff like this, like to be like in, in um, but you know, in my case, I also didn't do that. So I, basically it doesn't really matter. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna create a text. I'm gonna type in Panther, press T, or you can go and select the type tool right there. I'm gonna select the solid typeface. Um, I'm thinking on a free typeface. Let's check this out. This is pretty good. You can download it also for free. It's called Impact. I'm gonna decrease the size between the... There you go, this looks solid. So we got the text right here. I got also gonna create a new copy so I don't destroy the first one, the original one. Just click, click on it and uh, long select on this perspective grid tool and select the perspective perspective selection tool so with this you can move the panther text and as you can see it moves in perspective so right now we're in perspective and this is the text so what i want to do is place it right here where they intersect down so look at that it's in perspective right there i'm going to press and hold shift and i'm going to scale this down right where the line is somewhere around here okay so wow it looks it looks pretty good so this font is in perspective you know this font in perspective looks pretty badass anyways let's go on i just gonna so everything is going to fit so anyways uh to go in this uh on this side i just need to click on this uh, but mainly I need to go back, select the perspective grid tool, and now I can click on this right grid three. So now, or you can double click here and you know, top left, top right, bottom, bottom right. You can select it uh, which side you want, but right now we're on the right grid three. So I'm just gonna go back to this perspective selection tool and bring this here. As you can see, we're moving now on the right. They intersect right there. I'm gonna press and hold shift and scale it down right here. Okay, and this is it. This is how you work in perspective. You also can put things down on the bottom. So now question remains, how do you exit this thing, right? Because this is the final thing. So I go back to the perspective grid tool and I click on this little X hide grid. Boom, there you go. We don't have grids anymore. Like back in the days, I didn't know how to make the grid disappear. It was like so annoying. I'm thinking to put some distance between these guys. Look at that. Looks even better. And probably hack this 
tweak this a little bit make it eventually be good so anyways this i think it was inspired uh from some rap artists from hungary uh they did something similar like this i know i can't even remember that cor correctly uh but it was something in uh, the v shape that is for sure so uh yeah this is a little bit more accurate i think now i'm going to add that uh, offset effect that you're also going to unite it I'm gonna go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite, so everything is... Of course, if you want to unite it too. What, what this Unite button does is like, uh, it's just stick everything together, you know, everything is glued together. If you know, don't know where's the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select Pathfinder, and uh, you know, this option usually is not active. So anyways, I'm gonna go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and now you can see that it created an offset. I'm gonna increase the effect. I mean the stroke or whatever is that called. This should be pretty dope. I'm gonna go to 12, click OK. Now this is basically the offset. You can see some errors going on here and there. No problem, you cannot adjust that stuff. I'm gonna pull this here. And uh, now with this, I'm just gonna pull this. Where they intersect, of course, the line where they, uh, I lost. I lost it. So you can see if it shows in pink, that basically you're going in the right uh, direction. So anyways, I'm going to select this, press Shift plus M, or you can go to the Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt and cut this little thing. If you have like imperfections like these, you know, like uh, here we got also some stuff going on I don't like. I'm just going to select the Pen tool, go to the Pen tool, you know, and that way you can correct some bad ideas. And this is how you learn some new stuff. Okay, I'm gonna right click, ungroup, right click. Did I ungroup everything? No. Okay, I'm gonna group these together back. Where's the P? It's right here. Control. Okay, right click. Actually, Control G because it doesn't show. I'm gonna unite also. Let me check this. Oh my god. I'm gonna select them all and press and hold Shift, deselect this, then unite. I'm just gonna repaint this to white, it looks sick! And yeah, this is how you make this uh, phenomenal 3D effect, or something like this, this perspective tool. Yeah, but thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to check out the other videos as well, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. So yeah, thanks, have a good day, bye bye!